Everybody, uh, it is about one minute past eight in the morning, and it's time for another segment of the BTS vlogs. Yeah, I'm trying to vlog every day. I'm, I am vlogging every day. It's just that I don't know if there's enough content uh, for a daily vlog. The question, you know, well, the, the, this I have to sort of wait and see what happens on the editing desk. I haven't brought everything into the editing desk yet. That's scheduled for today. I was supposed to do things yesterday, but things got uh, too backed up, and I decided to leave it, uh, uh, the uh, filming and editing for today. So that's going to happen out later on tonight, and uh, it will go out for uh, Monday, basically. So Monday will be the first day that there will be videos on Cybergrapha TV Network and on the uh, associated channels. Uh, it is, as I said, it is a, a, a bit of a, a bit of a uh, a complexity to get some of the stuff out, uh, particularly some of the documentary work that I'm doing, the the uh, Tweet Line Plus, which will feed into the documentaries, uh, because you have to sort of sit down and figure out how you're going to present the materials, and it's not always obvious in the beginning how to do that. Uh, you have to find a variety of different sources, and some sources you can reveal some sources you can't reveal so this this becomes a uh, this makes things more complex and it's not as easy to get the material out as you initially assumed it's going to be uh, but I that this is going to come down to the, the now the part is that the, the upgrade work is done now I have to get down to the editing and make sure that the editing is done on a, uh, on a properly scheduled basis and this will sort of allow me to work out some of the kinks in getting the uh, programs out, so uh, it, it's going to be a learning curve. It's going to be uh, 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 some degree of a challenge, but you know that's what we're here for. This is this is part of research. This is what you do in research. Uh, you spend uh, enormous amount of time trying to you know find the stuff you want to look at. You, you want you know looking for different things, and at the same time you actually end up having to publish some stuff, uh, publish your uh, your observations. And you can either do it in a, uh, a, a journal, or my choice here was to, to create my own TV channel, uh, a network, and uh, present my work in this manner. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to leave it here for now, because I do have to go to church. I'm going to church, I'm going to church in a few minutes. Uh, I'm just waiting for my ride, so I will see you in the next segment of the BTS, uh, yeah, BTS Vlog or Big Bang Theory or uh, they're the same thing. It's basically BTS vlog is behind the scene vlog, and it's part of uh, Big Bang Theory RL. All right, take it easy and goodbye. Well, good morning, everybody. Let me adjust the camera. There we go. Yeah, good morning, everybody. I'm gonna continue trying to film. Uh, uh, do the daily vlog. Not gonna give them just yet. I haven't come. I got into the swing of, uh, of, filming enough throughout the day, that it's possible actually to have a daily vlog. So, and I think I've misadjusted this because uh, it's down a little bit low. So, uh, this is uh, one of the mistakes you're seeing. The whole reason why I call it behind the scenes and uh, it's part of the the BTS vlog. Uh, Big Bang Theory or out. The one of the reasons why I call it behind the scenes vlog is because I want to show you unedited what the life is like. Uh, this is a bit of uh, a fun here. This is where I have my, uh, this is my bed. Uh, 
research is for the type of research I do, the exploration that I do uh, in science is not nine to five. It's uh, ongoing 24 7, seven days a week. So, uh, more often than not, when I'm too tired to continue work, I simply roll over, you know, come here and go to bed. Then I get up, like I am now, and start another segment of uh, research. And this is the hard part, is maybe I will film this more, is uh, I got up, I was, I was up around uh, 12 30, 1 o'clock to do some work. Went back to bed uh, around 2 o'clock. And now it's uh, just about uh, six thirty in the morning. Yeah, six thirty nine, six thirty in the morning. Uh, so let me give you the time and date stamp. It is six hours and thirty minute, thirty nine minutes into the day of Monday, February 29th, two thousand sixteen. Yep, this year uh, is a leap year. We have a set of twenty eight days in in February. We have uh, twenty nine. So yay for that. <laughs> An extra day of February gives you a little bit more time to squeeze into work, to squeeze to get more work done, right? Squeeze the last little bit of stuff you have to get done in February before March rolls around, you know, and then officially the March work starts. <laughs> so you get, a, you got, I got an extra day in here so to squeeze in as much as I can. So <laughs> yeah, I do. The, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sleeping straight through. I never get a straight eight hours. It's always broken up, but usually four or five. Uh, sometimes even just an hour at a time I'm getting asleep. So it is not necessarily as restful as you would think. Uh, so I do have a bit of uh, what I call my geek fun. Uh, I do like my toys. I like to play. I'm basically an infinite child. And uh, I got this bed. Uh, it's basically a bunk bed. It's a nice solid wood bunk bed. But what I did is I didn't put the top bunk on. I didn't turn to sort of, I didn't close off the top bunk and put a second, a second mattress on top. I left it open, it becomes like a, almost like a tent bed. So I could sort of, you know, in here and just have my fun with my stuffed animals. Here's one of those stuffed animals. It's, it's for, again, for the arm. You put your hand inside here, and when your heart, hand, hand and arm hang over the bed, it's nice and warm. But also you got a nice little uh, plush pet here. So you can have your fun with uh, uh, stuffed animals and so on and so forth. So uh, that's kind of the stuff that I like. Um... Yeah, so if I come get, like I said, get a couple of hours here, a couple of hours there, it's 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 good enough to keep me going, and that's that's why I think I'm gonna film this film when when I do uh, go to bed for a couple of hours, or when I get up for just a couple of hours, film and say, oh, take five minutes and film and say, okay, you know, this is the middle of the night, I I I've more or less shut down for the day, but I still have stuff going on in my mind. I got up for uh, an hour and a half, and this is uh, the result. This is this. This is what you're seeing here. That will kind of add a little bit more time. I'm trying to fix up the kitchen so I can film in the kitchen so you can see, uh, finally see the kitchen diner and see how I fix my meals up, what the, what type of food I have, uh, so on and so forth. But uh, uh, these are th these are projects that are to be done. So uh, we're getting there slowly but surely, bit by bit. The work is getting ticked off. Uh, it's getting you know the, the the check marks are going in there. The checklist is getting done. Uh, the to-do list is getting done, uh, and so it, 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 it's, it's going somewhat well. There's always negatives. There's always things that push you back. Uh, there's always things that sort of cop, pop into the schedule that you didn't expect. Uh, and um, these challenges, as tough as they be, may be sometimes, these challenges do make you better. They, they make you a better person they, they, because you figure out, one, how to deal with the challenge, the, the, the emotions of, of dealing with the challenge that uh, pops up unexpectedly. Most people like things that are nice, neat, and you expect what you expect, and, you know, you don't want surprises during the day. This is <clears throat> the standard point of view. And the thing is we, even a person like myself who does open exploration, where things are, uh, are more, more often than not, they're not typical. There was, getting into this, an adjustment period where I had to get used to the unknown, get used to the unexpected occurring on a regular basis inside my day. So now, it's something happens and it's like, oh, okay. You sit down and the first thing you start doing is start rolling through in your mind. You start rolling through how you're going to deal with the various different problems, the various different issues that pop up 
with 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 that event that pops up into your life, and that's kind of you know what what happens to me almost on a daily basis. Something pops up, or you know, uh, something has to be a, 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 a attended to, or something along those lines. And you're not always going to have the best answer to it. So uh, you got to deal with yeah. So the the the, the unexpected coming in, how to schedule it, and then get deal with your emotions that the result that you, that's going to come out is not going to always be the ideal. You want to be able to accept the approximate outcome, the, 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 the outcome that is okay, that has, that is beneficial, even if it's not what you expected the outcome to be. And this is this is this is part of the challenge. And, then, and, then, and once we're, now we're back filming again, I've got a new tripod system that makes it a lot easier uh, to move things around and sort of take you with me. Uh, this is part of the challenge. This is part of this is part of the drama. Getting through day by day, looking at the mistakes. Uh, and you know, in research, is in your in your log book, in your research book, you don't you don't erase the mistakes. You don't delete the mistakes. You cross them out. You note know that this is a mistake here. You note that it is a mistake, and then you move on. And that way, when you go back, maybe two, three years, you look at your notes and say, "Okay, this is where I made the mistake here," and you begin. You can you can learn from that. The mistakes don't become mistakes in the sense that, that they are something that 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 draws you back and, and stops you forever. They're a learning block. They're a part where, okay, yeah, this is where I didn't I didn't have this understanding here, and. As you go through the experience, you develop some understanding, but as time goes on, and you look back and you have further experiences, you go back and say, okay, this is what happened here, and you can start comparing notes, and you can start learning even more from that particular event. So, uh, mistakes, failures are never as drastic as they, as they may seem. There are always solutions and options that maybe you never thought of before, but now in the situation, it forces you to think outside the box, to think a little differently. No, that, so that's a, that's a that's a good thing. That's something that sort of pulls you and pushes you forward. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna leave it here for now. Uh, <laughs> I think a five minute discussion is pretty good. Five six minute discussion is pretty good. So I'll leave it here for now, and I'll vlog, try to vlog later throughout the day. I am going to go do candles at the, at the church. Maybe I'll bring you with me and uh, we can go, you know, we could do something like that, you know, have some fun outside. Uh, anyways, uh, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next segment of the BTS Vlogs and, or the Big Bang Theory or out. Good morning, everybody. Yeah. It's time for the next segment of the uh, Big Bang Theory RL, the BTS vlog. Uh, it's, I'll do it, right? <laughs> Big Bang Theory RL, the BTS vlog, the behind the scenes vlog. Uh, <laughs> it's just about a uh, quarter to seven in the morning. Uh, I'm just getting up. I never really know when I'm going to get up. Uh, it depends on how I feel when I get up, if I get, if... I'm gonna get up or not? So I let my body sort of tell me sometimes I'm I'm tired than more tired than I than I expect. So I just go back to bed or there's something wrong with uh, my legs or my one of my muscle groups from walking and so I allow that to uh, play itself out and uh, oh that allow that causes some of the variance in. Uh, when I actually get up, but it's the same thing. That's the same thing. I want to go to bed, but when I go to bed, depends on uh, also how I'm feeling. If I can push and do more work, uh, that's what I do. And uh, so sometimes the day is longer, sometimes the day is shorter. It really depends uh, on uh, uh, where things are in terms of uh, uh, my overall. Flow. But my my average day, my day averages out to about twelve hours. Uh, seven days a week, there's no weekends, and the extra time I get to sleep, that's my weekend. That's my, and also those are my vacations. My vacations are in and weekends, the days off, are not days off, but they're hours off, and they're typically taken up by sleeping. So that's where that goes. Uh, let me give you a time and date stamp. 
uh, while we're here, uh, it is uh, 6 hours and 45 minutes into the day of Tuesday, March 1st, 2016, and yeah, um, I'm getting better at this vlogging stuff, I'm still having problems uh, vlogging, uh, oh, gee. So I'm having problems vlogging all day long throughout the day. So how these end up mixing together into a half hour show, uh, half hour daily, uh, half hour daily vlogs, uh, is still up in the air. I haven't sat down to do the editing yet. Uh, I hope to do that today. Because actually, the 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 editing uh, is all, the first thing on schedule today. Uh, everything else has been cleared off, so the first thing on the schedule today is editing. So. Um, and after the editing comes the uploading, so uh, that yay for that. And uh, I think so. This we we will be getting on schedule today, and uh, the content once I get st doing that, the that editing should it took me a week or so to get used to the, the that type of editing, uh, and uh, we should be uh, start able to start producing regular content. So uh, that's, for me, that's that's a, that's a that's a step forward. That's progress. So. Uh, it's good enough for me, and I'm happy with it. Uh, I think that's about it for today. I'm, I said I'm gonna try to vlog more throughout the day. It really one well, depends on um, because I went I went out doing uh, we made, went to the candle shop yesterday. Uh, my church has a candle shop. We make our own candles from pure beeswax, and there wasn't a lot to do. But the thing is, there was a, there was a uh, funeral. My dad had, had there was a funeral. Someone had died in the church, and my dad does the funerals because he's the priest at the church. <clears throat> um, excuse me. And so we had to wait till about six, seven o'clock in the evening. So by the time I got back, it was it was really late, and I really didn't feel like uh, vlogging. I was just too tired to vlog, so I didn't do that. I just finished up some of the work I needed to get done. And uh, progress from there. Uh, but actually, actually progress from, you know, in terms, in terms of going to bed, I just didn't vlog. It wasn't sort of in that frame of mind uh, because I had to clear off enough projects so that I can get make sure that today the first product that gets started that I get started with is the editing. So uh, there was no end vlog. I can't remember if I did two vlogs yesterday or, or just a single vlog, but. Uh, we'll see how things go today and try to produce uh, a little bit more. Uh, anyways, I think I'm going to leave that here for now, and I will see you in the next segment of the BTS vlogs, the uh, uh, BTS vlog of Big Bang Theory RL, or the Big Bang Theory RL BTS vlog. So, next segment. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Welcome back, everyone, to the next segment of uh, the BTS vlog from on uh, Big Bang Theory RL or Big Bang Theory RL BTS vlog. Uh, I just got back from uh, food shopping, and this is this is one of the unexpected things that kind of pop up. This kind of causes the schedule to sh to swing around. Uh, it's snowing outside. There's a snowstorm outside, a bit of a blizzard, but the blizzard started last night. But there's not that much snow on the ground. So my decision was to go food shopping now rather than wait till Friday when the snow is piled up and there's a good chance uh, that I won't be able to get out because the uh, roads and sidewalks will be blocked uh, with uh, a massive pile of snow. So I decided to move my food shopping from Wednesday or Friday to today. So I'm glad I did that. I went out and got my, the food that I needed for the week. Uh, plus a little extra, and uh, come came back. I left around nine thirty. It's about uh, just about twenty past eleven right now. So we're talking about uh, let's see nine nine thirty. Uh, let's say give it nine thirty. Uh, nine thirty ten thirty is one hour. Eleven thirty is two hours. So I'm ten minutes shy of two hours. So it's about uh, an hour and fifty minutes. So not a bad walk, all things considering. Uh, I had a significantly more energy than I expected to have, so that was a good thing. Right now, I'm sitting on the chair where I change, 
I've got my snow pants on still, and uh, I was going to change my top, but decided not to. It's not that wet. I didn't sweat as much as I did, usually do. Usually do. So the wetness doesn't necessarily... It's not wet, it's damp. Usually when uh, I do this type of walk and I get back, my clothes uh, from top to bottom are thoroughly soaked and I have to kind of change everything. Uh, but now that's not the case. I don't have to change the uh, top. The top seems to be alright. I just have to change the bottom half now. So uh, take off the, uh, the walking pants. Uh, the walking pants block a lot of the wind. They give you a little extra thermal layer. And, uh, and the rest underneath has to be changed as well. So, oh, I've unpacked. Everything is in the fridge. And now it's time to uh, get the rest of the day started. <laughs> the editing hasn't started yet. I got up, did a, a sort of a peruse around the news. Basically, with the, I, I've, I'm following RT. RT is going to be my primary source. And from that primary source, I'm going to move on out. And I decided that I'm going to talk about some of the products that I'm working on. Give details that are not necessarily going to be in the program itself. Some of the behind-the-scenes detail. And so that's what I've decided to do as well. And that will give more content to uh, the BTS vlog. So without necessarily going over, without necessarily stepping over in, in, in taking away from the, the uh, other channels, the other shows... So if I show you behind the scenes from other shows or talk about things that are going on in terms of the development in here for the other shows, that's not going to come into the other shows. That's not going to be the primary premise of the other shows. And so it's not going to take away from the other shows. So uh, the one thing I'm working on now is working on the news channel. Is, uh, the I had a problem. I had a good program called uh, Headlines and Beyond. But people found it too difficult. <sighs> So I created a new show that will introduce Headlines and Beyond. And formatting it really t really did, uh, getting the right format, getting the right way of presenting materials, really did uh, take a lot of effort. I did not want to follow st the standard journalistic path. I wanted to treat it like a research project. I want to use the, the uh, standards that you have in physics, which is basically observation. These are observational standards. Uh, for research, and that's what I've done is I've I've, I've brought the uh, the journalistic aspect of uh, of the news into more of a uh, uh, a observational psychology, observational science, and to some degree because of some of the elements that we're going to be bringing into the news channel, INN Internet News Network, it will be some degree of social engineering as well. So. Uh, that's where it stand, everything stands right now. So I've got to get everything packed away and sort of set. Oh, I've got everything back. I just have to get myself settled, fixed up, and get the race the day started. And it looks like I'm going to have to uh, put the camera back on the charging, uh, on, on to charge again. So, anyways, uh, that's it for now. I will see you in the next segment of uh, uh, Big Bang Theory's uh, BTS vlog. All right, take it easy. Well, good morning, everybody. I am up. Uh, I'm getting ready to start my day. I've done my one hour, my sort of my hour prep. Uh, so I got up around seven o'clock in the morning. That's the uh, the beginning day for this. Uh, that's the beginning hour for this schedule. And now I'm uh, uh, getting ready to start my day. So that's why I'm back here. Gonna put. Uh, some socks on and uh, get the rest of the day started. It is uh, now seven hours and fifty-two minutes into the second day of March, uh, two thousand sixteen. So, uh, what was it? I was supposed to vlog last night to finish the day off, but the day off, the day was kind of. Well, this is the way that uh, things are unexpected. I expe unexpectedly, uh, when I started, saw the snow was going to start. And I saw how heavy it was, and I saw how long it's was going to last, how big the cloud was. You know, how long it would take to come through. It uh, looked like it would, it would continue snowing until Thursday, so I decided to go food shopping at 9.30 in the morning. 
And I did that, got back, vlogged and I got back, which was good. But what happens is, is after I started, I had uh, a vlog and I had a, a bit of breakfast because I hadn't eaten anything at that, up until that point in time. Um, and that was, I think, uh, 1 o'clock I ate. Yeah, it was 1 o'clock I ate. Uh, I finished by 2, eating and everything, sort of in looking through all my notes. So I was getting prepared to film, to do the editing. And what happens is as your body starts to come away from the adrenaline, as the adrenaline starts to pull back, that's when the fatigue, the pain, and everything else starts to hit the body. And you begin to feel the tiredness in a manner that you haven't felt before. So uh, that's what happens is by 2 o'clock, uh, I was in a position that uh, my muscles started to ache. Uh, everything was sore, and my eyes started shutting uncontrollably. I couldn't keep my eyes open, so I started falling asleep while I was sitting up. So I said, okay, I'm going to go to bed. Uh, that was three hours. Got up around 6 o'clock, went to my parents' house for dinner, got back, and just was f the stiffness uh, from the exercising started to hit again. Uh... Almost right after I finished finished dinner, so by eight thirty nine o'clock, I got back. It was just uh, okay. I'm just gonna go to bed, and we'll see what happens and when I'll get up. But this this is sort of uh, what what is this, sorry, sorry, this is sort of typical. Uh, your body needs a period of recovery after heavy level heavy amounts of exercise to give you an idea of uh, how heavy the backpack is when you fill it up with food and you bring it back. Uh, take uh, a five-gallon jug or uh, fill it with water and then lift it up and try to see how heavy that five-gallon or 20-liter uh, 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 gallon jug is. And that's what I put on my back uh, every week. And uh, I walk. Walking with it on is about half hour back, right? So it's a half hour there, half hour back because it's, it's, it's a... No, it's, it's, it's a two, almost a two-hour two trip. So, let's say it's a two-hour trip. Let's say an hour there and an hour back. And so, for one hour, the weight of a, a five-gallon jug of water is on your back. So, it pulls everything down. It slows you down. You, your leg muscles are all tight and tense. And when you get back, because you've, you've done an hour's worth of exercise, continuous, there's been no breaks in between, uh, the body is is tired. It, it, as a matter of fact, it's exhausted. What keeps you going is your adrenaline. Your adrenaline pushes you further and further and further. It says, okay, let's go a little bit further, a little bit further. And your body works like that. And so you don't necessarily feel the fatigue right when you get back because the adrenaline is kicked in, the adrenaline is working, and it's giving you the energy to push forward. Um, however... As time passes and you have something to eat and you have something to drink, and the body begins to relax. The adrenaline pump, uh, adrenaline backs off. It's the the level goes down, and that's when you start to feel the fatigue. So usually about an hour to two hours after the walk, after the exercise, that's when the fatigue starts to hit. And the longer, it, it, the longer out you go for about twenty four hours, to about twenty four hours, the worse you're gonna feel. Uh, and it takes about a, just about a day, 24 hours, for your body to start to reach, reach its bottom point and start going back up again. So I'm still technically within that uh, that 24 hours, so my body is still going to feel uh, a little uh, fatigued for another day. So we'll see how things go today. As a, uh, I've got to do the news now. I've got to do the uh, sourcing, do sort of the, the peruse around, see, what, see what's happening on. At the research desk, you know, uh, that's what I'm sort of looking at the time for. I'm almost, I got three minutes before I have to start doing my first project, so, <laughs> a day. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you uh, in the next segment of the uh, BTS Vlogs on uh, Big Bang Theory. All right, take it easy. Welcome. Welcome to the library. And I am the library.
I am the professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.